Proverbs 17, verse 5. Whoever mocks the poor reproaches his maker. Whoever mocks the poor reproaches his maker. That is, your attitude to the poor is your attitude to God. God has a special interest in the fatherless, in the widow, in the weak. So not just the poor financially, but those who are poor in spirit, the depressed, the difficult people. We're all difficult in some ways. How you act and react and interact and how you feel about those people is the critical reflection of your attitude to God because he is particularly manifest in those people he brings into your lives who are poor in whatever way, physically poor, materially poor, or poor in spirit. Because we're all poor in spirit. And he shows us his great love and grace. He takes huge initiative in our poverty. And that has got to be reflected in how we then interact with the poor, in whatever way, that come into our lives. This is why the Lord says that when he comes again, he will say to people, when I was hungry, you gave me something to eat, thank you. Or to other people, he will say, when I was hungry, you didn't feed me, did you? And in that day of judgment, it will become absolutely clear that how we treated, as he calls them, the least of these my brothers, is how we treated him. You see, this is why our attitude to people, particularly the poor, is of critical importance, because that is our attitude to God, our Maker. And so the call to patience, to generosity, not just material generosity, but generosity of spirit, could not be clearer. This is then the critical issue in the Day of Judgment. This is the final decider. Whether we saw all around us in the need, in the poverty that surrounds us, spiritually or physically, if we saw in that God himself and how we responded to it.